Hello and welcome back to VC Football. Real Madrid are currently unbeaten this season, aided by the rise of Fede Valverde. With six direct goal involvements in Madrid's last seven matches and having scored in three consecutive games, Valverde's form has never been better. But how has Carlo Ancelotti been getting the best out of Valverde tactically? Let's have a look. Generally, Los Blancos have started with their usual 4-3-3 formation with Fede Valverde used in his new right wing position. Although whenever needed, the Uruguayan can slot back into his former central midfielder position, as he did when Los Blancos faced off against Mallorca in La Liga. Regardless of his position, what has made Valverde irreplaceable this season has been his progressive carries into the attacking third of the pitch, averaging 8.32 per 90. His dribbling ability makes him a catalyst for Madrid to immediately transition into attack. In fact, Valverde currently generates 3.14 shot creating actions per 90, which is in the top 10% of the top European leagues. But what has changed at Madrid that has allowed Valverde to attack so freely? Well, Los Blancos have had no shortage of world-class midfielders, and this season is no exception. For years now, Ancelotti has had a pleasant problem of lining up midfielders, especially when he had Kroos, Casemiro, and Modric as guaranteed starters. This led to the question, how to best include Valverde in a starting lineup? The answer was a masterstroke from the Italian when their MVP from last season, Karim Benzema, was injured so early this season. With their number 9 out, Ancelotti opted to move Rodrigo into the number 9 role and utilized Valverde as the right wing. Knowing he had more than enough options for midfield coverage, despite the departure of Casemiro this past summer transfer window. Ancelotti amazingly still has the likes of Kroos, Modric, Camavinga, Ceballos, and new addition Chouameni as options in midfield. And most notably, Valverde has done his best when paired with Modric who tears open defenses with his passing, and Chouameni who has been solid in the central defensive midfielder position left behind by Casemiro. Knowing he has excellent coverage behind him, Valverde is able to attack freely, which normally occurs after receiving the ball near the byline. This is best shown by his heat map against Atletico Madrid, where Valverde again was key to victory. The Uruguayan's positional awareness has also improved by leaps and bounds compared to last year, and this can be seen by the acres of space that the Uruguayan so often finds himself in. Of course, the development of Vinny Jr. on the left flank and Rodrigo's impact as the number 9 have also been crucial here. Los Blancos do a great job of overloading the left flank much like they did against RB Leipzig in Group F of the Champions League Group stage. In the match, Vinny Jr.'s individual brilliance cannot be understated. His presence alone drags defenders into this space. Rodrigo then does an excellent job of dummying the ball, leaving Valverde with all the space and time needed to fire a cannon past the keeper. But goals do not come without shots on target, and here again Valverde has improved drastically with a double up in shot accuracy compared to last season. A 58% shot on target accuracy this season compared to last year at an abysmal 25%. But Valverde is not only key to Madrid's offense, he has been a massive help defensively as well. When Los Blancos are under pressure, Valverde can be spotted practically alongside Carvajal on the right flank. A catalyst for offense, but also an engine who can cover ground from one end of the pitch to the other. Central midfielder, right wing, backup, right back? Fede Valverde does it all and his efforts are being rewarded, having been voted Uruguay's Athlete of the Year. He is also a fan favorite among Madridistas and many of you overwhelmingly voted Fede Valverde as Madrid's best player of the season so far. A massive shout out to everybody voting in my polls, by the way. We may be only 9 games into this season, but already we can see the impact that Valverde is making on this side. Ancelotti, as always, will adjust his tactics and things may evolve over the course of the season, but I want to know what you think of Madrid's unbeaten run and Valverde so far. Drop it down in the comments below, and if you have a player you think deserves an analysis video, make sure to let me know too. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to give me a like, 
subscribe, and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss out on future player analysis videos right here on VC Football. As always, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.